Hi, in today's video we're going to be making a lathe table. So we invested in a hobby lathe a couple of weeks ago. We went to for the Axminster AC305 and we've had it in our shed for a couple of weeks but it is up on our shed bench which is a little bit too high for me so it's about time we made the table. So we're following a tutorial online from Popular Woodworking Magazine, I'll put a link in the description and we're following it fairly closely, we're using all similar shapes but we're using a different material and a different fixing method just to make it a bit more cost effective for us. So in the tutorial they use plywood, we're using MDF and they also use a sort of custom bolting system and we're just going to use wood screws to put it all together, I thought it's just a hobby lathe and we don't need to go overboard with it, we're only going to be using it every now and then. So the first thing you need to do is get it to the right height and size for your lathe. So to get to the right height you need to firstly measure the distance between the floor and your hand if you hold your arm at a right angle. Then you need to measure the distance between the middle of your lathe and the base of the lathe. So you can minus that from the total and then you'll be working from the hip. So we actually started this project last night. We got two large 18mm MDF sheets of wood and we glued them together. Now ideally we'd use a nice sturdy clamping system but we don't have that. So we did it under our dining table and held it down with lots of extra weight and it seems to have glued quite nicely. So now that's all dry, today I'm going to mark out all the pieces and cut them. So let me show you what I've marked out and go through the pieces with you. Okay, so the first pieces are the legs of the table, and these are going to be on either end. And as you can see, they've got a tapered shape to them. The bottom length we're using is 52 centimetres, and the top length is 35 centimetres. And we've got two of those, and when we cut them, we'll cut the top and the bottom at a five degree angle, and this means they'll taper out slightly and make it nice and sturdy. The next pieces you need are three pieces of 35 centimetres wide. So this will be on the top, a middle shelf, and the bottom shelf. Now I've left them the full length of the wood, we will cut them down later once they're cut out from this main plank. And finally, you've got four pieces that are nine centimetres wide. And again, I've left them the full length of the wood and these will form struts under the top of the um, table and also under the bottom shelf. So we've now got all of our support struts and our top and our two shelves cut. They're just over here. You'll see our supports here and our top and shelves here. And now we're moving on to the side legs. So they're still attached to the board here. And we're going to cut these five degree angle pieces first on either side. So we have to make sure that they are cut on the same angle. So just marked here just as a little reminder we're going this way and this way and our circular saw allows for changing the angle of the blade so we're going to cut these with the circular saw now so now we've cut our five degree angles just here and the final bit now is to cut the slanted edges of each of the legs and again we're going to use that using the circular saw. So now we've got all our pieces cut out I'm going to move on to the side legs and mark where our shelves are going to go and also mark on a little grab handle just so if we need to move it it's easier to move. So I'm going to have my top shelf here at 20 centimetres from the top and my bottom shelf here at 47 centimetres from the top and then I'm going to use a drill and a jigsaw just to cut out a bit of an oval handle hole through each side. Okay, so now we've got our two side legs and our top ready and we're going to do a little bit of routing just to make sure the um, edges of the legs and the top of the top are nice and um, rounded. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're going to join the legs and the top. So what we've done here is we've clamped the first leg onto the top and you can see we've had to raise the height of our table a little bit to um, get them in. And then we're gonna mark an equidistance for four screws to go along here. And we're using these pretty long screws just to make sure it holds it nice and firmly. And then we're gonna pre-drill the holes and then screw them in and then do the leg on the other side. One leg attached we're ready to attach on the other side now in the tutorial um, that we've looked at they goes right to the edge but with us we're going to put it a little bit further in and use that edge strip as a tool holding area which we'll come to a little bit later so what we've done here is just marked a line 10 centimeters in from the edge and then this is where we'll attach the second leg in the same way that we did the first one so we've now got our tabletop attached to our two side legs and the next step is to then attach our braces that run across the top here just to give some extra support so to do that we're going to lie on top of the braces that are already cut and we're just going to mark each of the edges and cut a five degree angle on these so it matches the angle of the legs so we're using the chop saw to cut these and we've just put a five degree angle on the bottom here So now the two supports are on, we're going to repeat the process with the bottom shelf. So we're going to add the two supports and then pop the shelf on top. We're going to do this a little bit off from the bottom just so there's space to get your feet under if you need to get a bit closer to the lathe. So now we've got the two supports on, we're going to put the shelf on top. So we've just laid it out underneath um, and lined it up and then we're going to mark these edges and chop again with a five degree angle going this direction. nicely and the weight will hold it quite well but we're just going to add four screws in each corner just to make sure it stays in place. Okay so we've got the bottom shelf all secure now we were going to have two shelves on here I was going to have one in the middle here as well but actually now we look at it I think it's probably best to have a deeper storage space otherwise I'll be restricting myself on sort of like the height of things that I can store in here so we're going to stick with just the one shelf so next we're moving up to this area on the end so this overhanging area is going to be used to store some of the chisels um so I've got all my chisels here and I'm just going to cut a series of holes so they can slot in like this and I can hold them there are now drilled and the next step and final step is just to add a few little feet onto the bottom just to make sure he stands nice and straight and doesn't wobble. So here's all the holes and I'm just going to make the feet with a few off cuts from the MDF. So here are the little pieces of scrap wood for the feet, um, one on each corner and we're just going to screw these in. So here's the finished table and all that's left to do now is to put the lathe on top.
Elon Musk, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of our projects, remember to subscribe by hitting the big red button below. See you in the next one. Bye.